everyone, it's GFX Rose, and I'm going to teach you how to import your Roblox avatar into Blender. Now, first we will need to be actually in Roblox Studio, and you need to decide if you want to use what's called a rig file, or if you just want to go ahead and use just your avatar. So today I'm teaching you the rig file, okay? You can use these different plugins. So if you're on home, you just move to plugins, easy insert. You can use that to make sure to, you have to pick the right rig and pick the, the user ID number, or I'm going to use what most people use just so that you can be assured that um, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you can use this Already Pros plugin, okay? So I'm gonna spawn R6 because I'm gonna use a rig. And the way that I remind myself of which one to use is that I'm going to need to access less limbs, so smaller number. And that's because the rig file is a bunch of limbs already connected together, ready for me to manipulate, okay? So I'm not gonna need to access so much of my avatar because it's already gonna be provided in this other file. So therefore, I spawn a smaller number, spawn R6. All right, I don't wanna have the plain face, so I've already entered the number up here, click insert, and there we go, I've changed my face. If you need to know how to use those plugins and how to install them, please watch my video that explains it perfectly. Are you sure about that? What we wanna do is take this file and export it into Blender. So we do need to save it as a file. Sorry, take the avatar and save it as a file. We want to go over here to the name, right click, export selection, and now we'll need to put it into a file. I will say you want to make new folders because otherwise it can garble up the material, the texture, okay? So I'm going to name it GFX Rose um, Ballerina. All right, and now we save, okay? And now we take this file and we head on over to Blender. You don't need to use Studio any longer if you're just making the avatar using a rig. So let's head on over there. Okay, we're now here in Blender. We actually need to import that rig file I was telling you about. Be sure to find in the description below where you can get that file. Here it is, and let me just quickly say that you'll wanna be careful if you are watching other YouTubers that do post these rig files, they take you to a website, and while of course the file does not have a virus, you can accidentally click on the wrong thing. So I've made sure to make this in a Google Drive, and that should help you out, so that you don't have to worry about accidentally clicking on a virus. So what we need to do is delete the head and the eyes and the other things. You can click on X or you can actually just click on the delete button. You'll want to grab all of these items, but of course you don't want the other things. So you can do it individually or in a group. It really doesn't matter, it's just your preference. See, I don't want to delete all of that. Once I click on the teeth though, it will go away. So I'm not gonna be deleting all of those things, right? Now, if I click delete now, it would. So I'll need to make sure that I'm only clicking on the teeth. And that's why usually it's probably best just to click one at a time. So there you go, delete and we are done. All right, now I need to show you how to import your actual avatar. So you wanna click anywhere on the rig and click the limb. Any, any limb, any of the, these areas, uh, the actual limbs though, not all of these squiggle lines, okay? And you go up here to the editor mode and go down to shader editor. You'll see um, a whole bunch of diagrams over here, boxes, okay, an outline. You wanna make sure that you pick on the correct area to add in your material. You do not want the top orange box that says texture, you actually want the one right below it, the orange texture right below. You click on this file and then you'll need to go and find where you saved that avatar and get the material there. I found the file, it is a texture, okay? So it'll be your avatar name and a TEX behind it, Roblox automatically does that, and it's a PNG file. 
you click open image and there you go now you have all of those clothing items that you had on your avatar on this rig then of course you're going to need to import your avatar so you want to go find that next in your files file import obj and you find it that way here's the file gfx rose ballerina you want to pick the obj not mtl obj and you need to go over to geometry and split by group because you're not going to use the whole body here so you'll have to break that up import she's turned incorrectly you can use the rotate button or just the rotate which is r and then z so now i need to get this at 180 no big deal just makes it easier and i want to move her so i'm going to put the move button on and slide her over and get her out of the way of all that other now i need to click on the items that i want or click on the items i don't want really doesn't matter but you remove all of this delete and now you just have her head or you could have left her headless over there as well now you click on all of this and you slide it over and that is as easy as it is, is you want to get her situated so that she is center you that's why you don't want to delete all those buttons they are very helpful if you want her to have less of a neck you can move her down a little bit uh, it's really up to you but there you go guys that is how you import a Roblox avatar using a rig file into blender happy making your wonderful gfx's thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions hit the like button if you've enjoyed it hit notifications to all and i will see you soon with some more learning lessons in blender have a good day Bye bye